short answer questions for our chemistry practice test. Um, starting off with looking at the periodic table, and this is looks like it's just understanding some of the trends within the periodic table um, and how that all works. So, which element would I expect to have the highest, higher, highest first ionization energy? So as you move across, ionization energy increases. All right. So as I move from uh, left to right, it gets harder and harder to remove an electron. Also, as I move up a group, ionization also increases. So it should be the one that's furthest across and furthest up, which would suggest that it's going to be um, V, or I could probably also put Y in there as well, because um, being a noble gas, it's going to be very, very hard to ionize that because it's very stable. So I'm going to be putting in here, I would accept either V or Y um, in that case. Because V is by default what our first ionization energy should say, because it's higher up in the periodic table. But I also know that Y is a noble gas and it doesn't want to react and doesn't want to lose electrons whatsoever. So therefore, um, I'm going to toss up between these two and I'm actually not 100% sure. I'll actually need to Google that. But moving on. Which elements are found in group two. Group two of our periodic table groups are our vertical columns. So therefore, Z will be found in group two. Identify the element in the S block, um, the S block. Well, S block is here. This is our S block, and that is also Z. Remember, S, P, D is the um, way it works. Which element's electron configuration would end in 3P4? So that means it's in the third period. It has, it's in the P block and it's the fourth element in the P block. So which one is the fourth element in the P block? So this is our P block here. And we go one, two, three, four. So it should be X. Because this one should have three full, like not three full shells, three shells and it should end in P4 because it is in the P block and it's the fourth element in, so element X should do that. Last question here is just filling in this, so let's just quickly fill it in. Carbon, neutrons is a difference, so that's gonna be six electrons, same as protons because we have no charge on that and the charge is clearly zero. Here we have calcium, calcium, here we have protons, should be the same as our atomic number. Our neutrons should be the difference, which is going to be 19. Um, we have 18 electrons, so therefore if we've lost two electrons, all right, we've got two more protons than we have electrons, our charge should be two positive. And I should also put two positive there as well as my symbol. Moving on, I've got 15 protons. If I get my periodic table, what is that going to be? I'm pretty sure that's going to be phosphorus. My protons are 15. My um, mass number would be these two joined together, which would be 31. If I've got 18 electrons and only 15 protons, my charge should be negative three because I have three extra electrons. So therefore it should be P3 negative. Um, and that's gonna be phosphorus. And that's the answer to the first question.